Hi, I'm Larry Schooler, and I'm going to help you navigate through the open enrollment process, which begins October 17, 2011, and ends November 18, 2011. Your individual 2011 employee coverage information statement and a copy of the 2012 Employee Benefits Guide have been delivered to your department. If you haven't received yours, please check with the enrollment coordinator in your department. Information on the 2012 Benefits Plan can also be found online at www.ci.austin.tx.us forward slash benefits forward slash enrollment or on CitySpace. If you're satisfied with your current benefit options and don't plan on making changes, you don't need to participate in open enrollment. Your current elections will automatically roll over for 2012. However, if you need to make changes after reviewing the 2012 materials, there are three different ways to participate. The online enrollment system begins October 17th and ends at midnight November 20th. Use your employee ID number, located on both your timesheet and your coverage statement, and the first five numbers of your social security number to access the online enrollment system. The telephone enrollment system lines are open between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. Monday through Friday from the beginning of open enrollment through November 10th. Benefits enrollments forms are also available and can be completed with your department's open enrollment coordinator at your workplace. The 2012 rates for your current coverage are on your coverage information statement. You will also find the names of all dependents enrolled in benefits. If you find mistakes, such as an incorrect social security number or date of birth for a dependent, you must use the online system, telephonic system, or complete a benefits enrollment form to make the necessary corrections. If you were hired after September 10, 2011, you won't receive a coverage information statement and must complete a benefits enrollment form to make changes. If you complete the online or telephone system process, a confirmation statement is automatically mailed to your home address within two business days. Carefully review your elections. If you find a mistake in your coverage statement, you must repeat the open enrollment process or call CompuSys ERISA Group Incorporated to make corrections. If you don't receive a confirmation statement, it is likely your changes were not accepted, so you will need to repeat the process. Although this all sounds complicated, the online and telephone systems are quick and easy ways to complete the open enrollment process. It's also a way to include your family in the decision-making process, especially if you use the online system from your home computer. Open enrollment is also a great time to update your beneficiaries by completing a beneficiary designation form. However, you can update this document at any time during the year.